Okay, so tonight I'm going to show you guys Tiny Core Linux on the Raspberry Pi Model B with the 512 megabytes of RAM. Just plug in the USB cable. Use the boot screen. Booting Core 4.74, Linux kernel 3.27. The screen takes a little bit to load. Before, when it was just command line, it booted in 10 seconds or so. So we'll give that a minute here. There it goes. Core is distributed with absolutely no warranty. And it went away. So here it is Linux Core Desktop. The simple panel down here. The Dillo 3 browser. A couple other tools down here. Text editor show you the browser. Haven't gotten Firefox to work yet. Don't know if I will. I'll certainly try. I'll just try yahoo.com. It loads usually like a text-based web page. Sometimes it'll load pictures. Usually not though. But you can get all the news and such. So it works well enough. So I'm going to open up on here. You click, you just use your applications, your on demand, stuff like that. And you have a file manager, PC Man FM. I've got that's not what I wanted. I've got in the text editor down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open simple Python program I've got. So it's right here. You can see it. Just a little something. I had I installed Python in here, so you open up a terminal. And you're going to run Python. Hello world. Dot pi. So we're going to push enter here. It's going to build and run real quick. It says enter the number one. Made it so if you enter the number five or anything else other than number one, it gives you a mean little response and tells you to enter the number one again. Enter number one, and it says hello world. So we have a nice little basic Python development box, and it works very fast. And you can see things launch almost instantly. So we're going to go to system stats over here. There's the processor running at just under 700 megahertz. I don't have it overclocked. And then memory. Here you can see the total. Then the other bit is for uh, graphics. And here's the free memory. Um, another fun tool I just got is HTOP, like that. It shows you your, well, it was really hard to see, processor usage, RAM usage, everything that's running, your your runtime, how many threads and tasks you're running, a bunch of fun little options along the bottom. Then, other than that, that is about it for right now. We're going to go ahead and shut this down.